Fulton District Regional Lawyer Fonnie Willis had a big discussion from three voters accused of Donald Trump in Georgia, David Schaefer, Sean Still and Kathleen Latham signed a certificate claiming they followed precedent determined by Democrats in Hawaii after 1960 elections, and that three defendants claimed they had legitimate presidential voters supporting Trump after 2020 elections. Willis, for first time by Politico Kyle Cheney reported on Thursday, court against movement of newspapers, repeated calls for precedent, alleged to be in Hawaii during the 1960 presidential elections, miss the trail with a wide difference. Willis wrote, first this principle, actions that did not lead prosecution 60 years ago in a judicial field, with election code and criminal regulations, by prosecution institutions, it does not seem necessary to explain with evidence of criminal, in order advance the 2020 Ulent voter plan. It provides zero protection for defendants who conspiracy. Secondly, it can be easily distinguished enough to make a comparison meaningless, he added. In 1960, after Richard Nixon appeared to have won presidential elections Hawaii, he approved results of state governor in favor results. However, when a recounting census John F. Kennedy could lead, Hawaii's Kennedy voters were given legal advice to sign certificates to ensure that their votes were counted by Congress if the recounting election changes election, and Democratic voters were ultimately certified as the legitimate Arduvas of the state. Willis said that when Hawaii's Democratic voters came together in 1960, an official rebellion continued. In the 2020 case, when Schaefer and other Uland voters came together, he wrote, two recounts were completed for a victory margin for Biden, each which consists of thousands votes. Willis asked the court refuse Schaefer's offer to move his case, and he said he did not produce any evidence and consistent theory Uzir support this claim.